Welcome to Salesforce and Force.com architecture discussion. This presentation has been developed by Ramondia Hardison, Matt Robison, and myself Deepa Berge for our IT architecture course. Today's discussion topics are listed here. I will be covering the overview and core concept concepts of force.com like multi-tenancy, metadata, and polyglot persistence. Ramondia will cover security, scalability, and disaster recovery. Matt will conclude with our business case. Let's get started. Salesforce uh, is a cloud computing company that provides its services over the internet. Its service offerings are a synergy of various technology components and concepts. Basically, cloud computing has three layers of services which sit one on top of the other. At this time, Salesforce offers two categories of cloud computing services, which are platform as a service and software as a service. Infrastructure as a service is not offered at this time. We tend to associate Salesforce.com with cloud CRM, but this is just one of its SaaS offerings. The other popular SaaS offerings being work.com, which is a cloud HR solution, and desktop.com, which is a customer service solution. Later in this presentation, Matt will present the business case for Salesforce CRM. Another important SaaS offering is an enterprise social network and collaboration platform called Chatter. Salesforce.com's platform as a service product is known as Force.com. This powers most of Salesforce SaaS applications and custom apps. The Force.com platform allows external developers to create add-on applications that integrate into the main Salesforce.com application and are hosted on Salesforce.com's infrastructure. For today's discussion, I will be focusing on the building blocks of Force.com. Force.com is the proven cloud application development platform that powers many popular Salesforce.com cloud applications like Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, etc., as well as the custom applications that customers build to satisfy their specific business requirements. The core components of Force.com are multi-tenancy, metadata, and polyglot persistence. Multi-tenancy is one of the core concepts which has made cloud computing a reality today. Multi-tenancy is sharing IT resources like servers, databases, etc cost efficiently and securely. As an analogy, we can think of an apartment building in which many tenants cost effectively share the common amenities, but they still have their own private spaces. Similarly, a cloud uses multi-tenancy technology to share IT resources securely among multiple applications and tenants, such as businesses, organizations, which use the cloud. With multi-tenancy, cloud computing platforms are able to deliver a faster, easier, and lower risk model to IT. The last generation of applications were single tenant, meaning that each application had its own set of dedicated hardware and software resources, such as CPUs, storage, memory, and operating systems, an application server, a database, etc. There are many challenges with single tenancy. For example, there are dozens of hardware and software products to evaluate, buy, install, and manage. It's really hard to find and retain necessary skill sets needed to use all of these products. Configuration and performance tuning can be hard as well. CPU and storage are often underutilized. Multi-tenancy is a new architecture that makes it possible for all applications from all organizations to run on common physical infrastructure. This is a key technology enabler for dynamically sharing resources across applications, 
doing security monitoring, disaster recovery, and general systems maintenance that benefits all applications and users simultaneously. The metadata kernel. Metadata-driven architecture facilitates multi-tenant applications. Metadata architecture keeps tenant-specific data secure in a shared database so that one tenant can't see another tenant's data. It separates each tenant's tenant-specific metadata, tenant business data, and shared runtime engine, which is the kernel. The diagram depicts the metadata architecture. You can see that each tenant's objects like tables, UI elements are processed by the runtime engine and stored as metadata in Force.com's Universal Data Dictionary. Force.com uses massive and sophisticated metadata caches to maintain the most recently used metadata in memory. This avoids performance sapping disk I.O. and code recompilations and basically improves application response times. The runtime application generator engine uses metadata from the cache to generate the virtual application components at runtime. Polygot persistence is the third uh, chief component of force.com. Basically what polygot persistence means is it, it means having different data storage technologies for different kinds of data. Force.com integrates and optimizes several different data persistence technologies such as transaction engine, metadata caching, and a separate multilingual search engine to deliver transparent polyglot persistence for all applications and devices. What this means is that developers only have to code to a single API without worrying about optimal persistence technologies. They don't have to deal with the com complexity of trying to integrate, manage, test, and support several systems. So let me explain each of this, these technologies. The transaction engine is basically a relational database engine with a specific, specialized data model that is optimized for multi-tenancy. The metadata cache, as I mentioned earlier, is used to maintain the most recently used metadata, which basically helps with uh, the response times and it avoids performance sapping disk I.O. and code recompilations. The full text multilingual engine performs asynchronous background processes which updates tenant and user specific indexes in real time. This concludes part one of the presentation. Ramondia will take the discussion forward by focusing on security scalability and disaster recovery in part two of the presentation. Thank you.